What is going on guys? Welcome to your 16th iPhone development tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be clearing up any confusion you may have about protocols, delegates, action sheets, or anything like that. So check this out. We went ahead and we adopted this protocol in the last tutorial and by doing so we pretty much said alright we know you already have a bunch of built-in methods to go along with that action sheet. So then later on we built this method called button pressed and inside it we said delegate self and what this means is it pretty much said alright for those built-in methods that we already imported to go ahead and handle the action sheet where are those methods and we said well they're in the same class as our class but if you went ahead and looked around there are no methods to handle this action sheet well that's where we're going to be building in this tutorial last part of the tutorial so let's go ahead and do so so the method that we want to happen to handle this action sheet is void that's what it's going to return and go ahead and type action sheet and we don't want cancel it's action sheet and the first parameter is UI action sheet asterisk and action sheet and there are a bunch of different parameters you can have what we want to do is will dismiss with button index make sure I didn't type anything wrong and as a parameter it's going to type ns integer and it's going off the screen here button index alright now before we go ahead and build body let's go ahead and talk about this uh, header what's it mean alright so these are action sheet methods but what's this parameter will dismiss with button index well there are a lot of different methods you can use but what this one is going to do is it's going to run this bit of code automatically when you dismiss the action sheet and what that means pretty much click a button and get rid of the action sheet so we're saying alright so what's this this button index is each button on your action sheet has an index either I think cancel is negative one and then the rest, the rest of the buttons are like zero one two three um, I don't know I don't know the indexes by heart but it doesn't really matter so in order to see what button you clicked to appropriately handle your code you pass it a button index so if you're saying alright if you pass it negative one cancel the program something like that so anyways this bit of code we type in here is automatically gonna run whenever we dismiss our action sheet so with that being said let's go ahead and uh, type something in here so we pretty much already have a built-in I mean it automatically cancels whenever you click that cancel button we don't need any code for that but what we do need is a bit of code to run if you don't click that cancel button so let's go ahead and make an if and oh yeah there we go condition already popped up so we'll say if that button index if the button we clicked is not equal to action sheet alright so here's what we're saying alright if the button we click is not equal to the cancel button then by default it must have been the go ahead button so what do we want to do when you click the OK button well what we want to do in this case is just create a basic alert so if you're saying alright how do you do that and by the way I'm creating an alert because I show you I want to show you guys how to create an alert you don't have to create an alert you can put anything in here you want to do you can make your screen turn a different color you can uh, you know go to another view you can you know pretty much give them a hot dog but I want to create an alert so you I alert view here's how you create an alert by the way and I'm gonna name mine alert and what you need to do is you need to say it equal to a bunch of stuff and a bunch of crap's gonna pop up UI alert view allocate some space for it and again a bunch of crap's gonna pop up just like when you created your um action sheet so initiate with title I'll say okay here it is now let's go ahead and give us some space to work with alright for the message 
this is what's going to appear, well it's pretty much going to appear in the middle of your alert say. So let's go ahead and say bacon is good, mm. I mean why not, you can say anything. So in the delegate for this is just like before you can have a delegate but go ahead and press self. And for the cancel button title, this cancel button is of course what do you want to appear on the cancel button and go ahead and press done and other button titles we don't have any other buttons so go ahead and press nil right here get out of my way nil no. alright really other button as soon as I type something you move alright so go ahead and uh, after this what we need to do is be able to show this alert on the screen so go ahead and type the name of your alert alert show and you also want to release it alert release alright so I mean that's all we need to do so what we're saying is alright we know that this method is automatically gonna get ran ran whenever we click anything on the action sheet so what we're saying is alright if we click the cancel button, of course, cancel the action sheet. But if we click the OK button, then we want to show this alert. So let's go ahead, build and run this, see if we got any errors. And we succeeded. So, all right. Switches, we know what this does. The button, once you click it, now an action sheet pops up and it says, want to see an alert? We can click cancel and that cancels out of it. But check this out. If we click the so-called destructive button, which is really not destructive at all, an alert pops up that says bacon is good um and let me just see one thing let me just quit this and I think that if you for delegate um if you go ahead and click a nil then I don't know what's gonna happen here but I think this is what I commonly do so let me see if this still works button I'm button yep good okay alright so I think if it doesn't have a delegate then you can go ahead and uh, pass in nil and remember a delegate is code that you want automatically to run at a certain point of time but you know we don't want any bit of code to run so we can go ahead and pass in nil for right there so one last time what we did and by the way well let me talk you guys through this since we needed this method right here this was a built-in method we all we needed to do is build the body and since we needed this method for our program we needed to go ahead and adopt it in our protocol and by adopting it it pretty much made the header for us and said alright all you need to do whenever you need this method is to create the body so then we said alright whenever we click our button what do we want to happen we want to build an action sheet and we want to tell the action sheet that that method that we adopted is in the same class so it showed the action sheet and did everything like that and now once you exited out of the action sheet it called this method right here and what this method did is pretty much looked at what button you clicked if you click cancel to cancel it out of the action sheet but if you click that OK button then what it did is pretty much just created an alert using these parameters showed the alert on the screen and released it from memory so what a couple of tutorials now you know how to create action sheets and alerts as well and now you know a little bit about protocols which is pretty much built-in methods that we can use and also delegates which is pretty much code that runs at a specified point automatically so that's that for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I mean if you need any help just ask me in my forum please don't send me a message in my inbox because I never look at it so thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go take a nap or something, and uh, I'll see you next tutorial.